Uh, I'm the MC for the day, so my, my job is to go, Hi, here's so-and-so. Very difficult, very okay. difficult task. And how do you manage all your MC roles as well as uh, your ABC announcing roles? Oh, look, it's, it's like, um, it's, I, I have a busy life, but it's the same as, um, I have the same attitude to my ABC life as I do to my family, I ignore them. Um, so it allows me to get a lot more in, and um, it's good. And you were speaking earlier about uh, access to information and the media world needing to change and provide information and also through live events. How do you see that coming through and particularly today with ideas and possible? Well, I, I don't see any difference between what Ideas is doing and you know, trying to achieve and trying to, try to find their audience and trying to get their information to the people that they want to get to and for people to find that information. There is no difference in that, difference in that relationship between what the ABC is trying to do, what the Sydney Morning Herald is trying to do, who what Ruben Murdoch is trying to do. No one's got a clue. Everyone's trying to figure out how to do it, what's going to work in, in this day and age. At this point, we're all obsessed with social media. We think that's how it's all going to work. That could turn out to be completely wrong in another five minutes as well. But it's, we're, everybody's engaged in trying to find exactly their audience and deliver exactly what it is they want. Whereas everything, if you go back 20 years or so, everything was about this broad sort of, well, here's our thing, let's hope they find it. It's narrowing down. And what do you think the main challenges with that? Well, the main challenge is, uh, as everyone's discretion, here going, oh, how does this work? What's good Facebook? Um, and the main challenge is that everyone trying to change their thinking from being broadcasters. Like people like me have grown up as broadcasters. We put a program on a specific platform at a specific time. We assume you'll find it. Uh, we hope that enough people find it. Well, that's all changing. I mean, my competitor now in ABC Radio is not 2GB, it's BBC4. It's, it's this American life. It's all sorts of other programs. It's, it's blogs and, and, and you know podcasts I don't even know about that people would rather listen to than me. So that oh, makes it for you. Oh, it's impossible. It's very annoying. And uh, when you are an announcer and receiving a number of talkback calls, I imagine you receive a lot of ideas from your listeners. Mm. How are you able to take those on board? Well, I don't just take them. I steal them. Uh, very directly and, and, and use them as, as though they might. Uh, you know, that, that's the great joy of something like Talkback is it's, it's primitive social media. I, always, I think of Talkback Radio as like, um, we were like Twitter with 10 phone lines. That's all we had, you know. And so it's like, this, you, it's the same thing. Here's an idea, that's great. You've got to be looking for it, you've got to be listening to it, you've got to be able to hear it and, and store it away and, and bring it back when, it, when it's appropriate, when it works. But most of what I do is basically just recycling what I was told yesterday. But they get a lot more than 140 <laughs> characters. They get a lot more than 140 characters. But, you know, you don't, you don't need much more than that. You know, that, that sort of stuff is, um, you know, good pith, pith is good, you know, get it, get it short, get it sharp, that's great. It's not 140 characters, it's, it's, it's a little message with a link to a whole lot more, you know, all that sort of stuff, so, you know. And what are you expecting from entering um, this disability world here over the next two days here at Possible? Well, I, I'm expecting, a, I'm expecting like most of these things, it's not my world, but I walk into it and I'll be amazed, you know, it'll be, it'll be stimulating and inspiring and what I'll get are stories um, and connections with all sorts of people that I wouldn't normally come across in my everyday life or in my, the kind of media that I usually do. So that, that's why, I, that's why I say yes eagerly, because it takes me out into a world that I, I'm not normally going to have it. Perfect. Thank you very much. No worries.